And Leopold kicking to your left of screen in this quarter. Karai to the right. Karai win the first play out of the centre. It's Bradley Circuit who gets the ball moving. But only as far as Sam Hughes of Leopold. There the old one two. Hughes gets it back. Tries to swing on the left is actually Ryan Dahlhouse. So combining with the likes of Jack Stevens in that play. But eventually forced out of bounds. Right on the wing in front of the Flowers family stand. Umpire will ball it in once more, uh, throw it up once more, and he does so. Lawson and uh, Scott go at it, and it's broken free by Leopold, but taking a good mark there with Stuart Alford for the Corrado side, and he kicks along. Looking for the big player there in number, uh, it's 50 metres, Pod Vincek, the umpire has paid 50 metres. It was a great mark taken there by uh, Daniel Harrison, the man who missed the shot at half-time on the siren. And he'll get 50 metres now, so he have another chance to have a shot at goal. And Carrillo could be in within a kick in the space. Yeah. Nick Scott, of Leopold, 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 Leopold's captain not happy with that decision. But anyway, in he comes. Not a bad kick, but just across the face, a mark possibly. No, across the boundary line, across the line. And... One behind, registered to Carrillo, to Daniel Harrison, was it? Yep, and he's getting his second behind now. So now Leopold will look to rebound from their defence. And here comes the kick. It's a good kick, just out, just towards the 50 metre arc. Good punch by Alfred. Yep, Carrillo looked pretty desperate. It's very congested. About four or five players from each team in that tiny little pack. Big rainmaker of a kick going through Lawson's legs. Now Scott's in there, as is uh, Shelley, gets the kick clear, and two players dive on top of the ball, there'll be a ball up, that, oh, in the back. Tough call that, but it's been paid, and it's going the way of Leopold, they're quick to get off, and it was Casey who took the kick, could be a high tackle there, might have ducked the head, no, it's all wrapped up, and we'll have a ball up, good tackle there by Aaron Shelley of Carrillo. And the ball up will take place just inside the centre square. The rucks go at it. Slapped out of there by Lawson. Straight to his teammate in Daniel Harrison, who kicks right it's to the good. goal line, goal. and he's kicked the goal. Daniel Harrison kicks his first. The all clear is given. And Carrillo, two goals within the last 10 minutes of actual playing time. And they are two goals, two? Yep. Two goals, two, 14, only four points behind. Leopold, two goals, six, eighteen. Well, where has this come from? Like, Carrillo was scoreless um, until halfway through that second quarter. You know, pied on two goals, too. Trying to be four points behind Leopold, who have dominated for the majority of the game. Yeah, Leopold, having a bit of a reality check. Maybe not dominating as much as initially expected. But here they come now. Lawson really pumped up. As you can see, he puts his whole body into the effort. Bradley Circuit had it kicked it and he's trying to spot up a, a player up in the forward line she couldn't take the mark Jacob Storer kicks along oh. the ground now it was Blake McKim for Leopold who got it moving Leopold have it between wing and half forward and they go inside the 50 here's an opportunity Leopold have runners they duck and weave number Ooh, 21 in the back. Cock, oh. cocking, they copped one high uh, in the back Number 18, Damien Jennings. Kicked one into the goal square. Possibly goal. off the ground. It's going to be a goal. And Sam Calder appeals for a goal. The goal umpire looks certain it was. Yep. Just looking for the all clear. He's waiting on it. Sure, it's a Waiting goal. on the result. I think it is. Yep. Sam Calder's kicked his second. And there is the goal that Leopold wanted to bring their lead back to what is now 10 points. Well, Calder there just suckering it off the ground. Actually socket it straight into the goal umpire's foot as the goal umpire tried to clear the uh, the area, but it was definitely a goal. So now Leopold 3-6-24, Lee Carrillo 2-2-14, and uh, back to a 10-point ball game. Umpire in the middle, Leopold just let themselves off the hook for a moment. A few changes on, but Lawson, ever pumped up, gets it to Cook, Cook slaps it forward. 
right at the centre half forward position. But Leopold, ooh, ooh. two on one situation, and Karaya have the ball in the hands of Daniel Harrison who kicked that goal a moment to go. To Lawrison, spots him up in the forward line, and Chris Lawrison, well, I'd suggest he'd go right onto it now and have a shot. He goes the full distance right to the goal square. Can someone take the mark? They have Chris Cummins. A good, clean mark. Sensational effort. And no doubt will kick the goal and bring the lead back to only four points again. No, well, that's, that's right. Three of the uh, three of the Cryer's biggest players featuring in that uh, passage of play. Harrison, Lawson, and then Cummins, who kicks the goal. So probably their three best marks have uh, taken them. And then Cryer have got the goal back quickly, and now it's only four points of the difference once more. Definitely. Leopold, 3 6 24 and Carrillo, 3-2-20. That was Cummins' second goal. He's played well. Yeah, he's kicked two goals straight. Harrison, one goal, two. So they've shared the scoring around those two players. And also Lawson as well being very good. Probably the best three players there, along with Shelley and possibly Cook. Luke Cook. Cook. They're looking very dangerous with Lawson. He's pumped up. Their forwards are performing and their midfielders. Midfielders are also playing very well too. You watch the play here as Lawson gets it to Cook. Lawson regains possession of the football. A nice. long raking hand pass out over the top to Cummins. And Cummins snaps onto the right foot and kicks. Touched. It would have been a goal. Yep. And play like that wins. That's the sort of play they need to win grand finals. In a low scoring game, to uh, get it down that quickly and have it scoring shots, it's impressive. But just a behind there to Chris Cummins on this occasion. A move to three goals, three, 21. And they're three points down on Leopold, 3-6-24, who have been scoreless for the last... Well, they kicked a goal, but they were scoreless before that until the first quarter. Yep. Leopold now first forcing it forward via Nick Scott, the captain. Also in there is uh, Ryan Rich. The pack forms now, and Leopold will break free, though. Now it's Jacob Storer. Storer over the top. It's Jack Stevens. Pumps it inside 50. There's a race up with the ball. Damien Jennings is there. As is Sam Calder, the goal kicker, the dual goal kicker. Great kick. Oh, there's free kick though. Yep. Free, free kick to Leopold. I thought maybe advantage could have been paid there because they had two players on. But there'll be a free kick. Did you see what that was for? Could have been holding. I'm not quite sure. Possibly that or too high. But there is a free kick deep in the pocket. And it will be taken by Damien Jennings for Leopold. So right on the boundary line. Would he be able to get a shot from here or just centre nah, it? a bit too far out. He's outside 50 at the moment. He'll be kicking from 45. He'll probably s try and set it up and centre it into the goal square area. Let's see what he does. On the full. Yeah, just off the side of the boot there. Bit unlucky. And free kick to Carrillo. So Carrillo looking to rebuild once more. They played well in the last 10 minutes and also in the last few minutes of that second quarter. It's a little chip kick over the top. That's a good kick, though. Found their captain in Shelley. Shelley plays on. Not a good kick. Hit caught on the chest, but caught a drop to his yes. cook. Played well. Got it out to Lawson. Their better players are featuring again and again in the play. Snap over the shoulder. And the contest there. Brendan Julian provided it. And there'll be a ball up. Great tackle on Kennedy. Uh, applied there by Craig Shelley. And up they go again. Lawson knocks it down, but only as far as Sam Hughes for Leopold. Hughes kicks it over the top to Ryan Rich. Ryan Rich gathers it, but loses it across the line. 45 metres around from Leopold's goal. It will have a boundary throw in. The scores are 24 to 21. Leopold lead by three points. Rich coming off, and Sam Hughes coming on for the lines. And the umpire just clearing the pack, and there'll be a ball up. Lawson and Scott go again. They've been at it all day. Cook gets the footy, just slaps it on the boot. Taken there, Kennedy. down with, yep, Kennedy. And it's a good mark, though, taken by Nick Scott. He kicked one by, actually, not Nick Scott, it's Damien Jennings. Yeah, look, Jennings wanted to give it off there, but he thought about it, and it wants to have a set shot now. So this to put Leopold into the 30s and give them a nine-point lead. He should get this one, Jennings, dead in front. And the breeze really isn't much of a factor when you're this close. He's got to start it left to right. Comes in. Damien Jennings. Looks pretty good, but he's kicked it a bit too far to the left. So he, the wind didn't really take that at all. And he's kicked one behind. So Leopold, very inaccurate. 3-7-25 versus Carrillo, 3-3-21. It's a four-point ball game. 
halfway through this third quarter. Morrison in the fullback position to take the kick in. He's been dominant all around the ground in the ruck, up forward, and now in the fullback position. Very fit. He'll head out to a teammate, and he spots up Blaine Templeton on the chest. Templeton goes in turn now. Heading in the Daniel Harrison direction. Waiting at the back was Cook. Cook applies the tackle on Hughes. And a free kick to Hughes, holding the man without the ball. So, Sam Hughes, just outside 50. He looked to pass it off. He does. He sees the lead, and he's got him. Great kick. Excellent low trajectory kick. Hit him right on the chest there. And it's Sam Calder, who will be lining up for his third goal. Very good, Sam Calder. He'll... He's kicked two goals, one today. And he wanted to be kicking this because Leopold have only got three, and yet they've had ten shots at goal. And they've actually put a few on the full as well. He's played on. Risky on the left foot. Won't be a goal. It's going to go to the square. No one's touched as yet, and now it's punched through for a rush behind. Sam, right. Yeah, Sam Calder. Maybe the right thing to do. He knew it was a bit too far out. Yeah. Probably not the best attempt of uh, dodging the man on the mark. But uh, he... I think he surprised him, yeah. so he did the job fairly gained, effectively. Gained some distance also with the running. Morrison to kick out once again. He does so. And kicks, sat up in the breeze a fair bit. Shelley was there for Carayo. It's his opportunity now for Sam Hughes, who's near the ball, but it's out of play. And it's uh, going to be another ball up. So just a bit of a lull in the game at the moment. Leopold with another prime opportunity for a scoring opportunity here. They try and move it forward, but over the line another again. Another rush behind. And a rush behind to Leopold. They move to three goals, nine, twenty-seven. And Carayo, three goals, three, twenty-one. So Leopold doing all the attacking in the last five minutes or so after Carayo was storming back. Someone different to take the kick in? Yep. Lawson now is going to take the uh, go for the markers Harrison with the kick he kick he's kicking to Lawson and Co had a few on him he's done well though just slaps it forward look out coming through there was Scott the captain shrugged the tackle whacked it onto the right foot the great mark taken in defense once more Harrison again we see these names pop up again and again and they're rotating them both these guys Lawson and uh, Harrison have been up forward now they move back and they combine once again Lawson Nice. Oh, a little clever kick over the shoulder and spots up Bradley Circuit, who's been running hard all yeah. day. Hand pass through his own advantage. It was a good play. But Leopold win the football in the end through Jacob Morrison. Morrison loses it once more. Cook onto the right foot, but they've caught a free kick to Leopold. Ooh. Crowd doesn't like it either. No, I'm not sure about that one, but uh, the umpire was in the right position, so he's got the, uh, the, the right to say that. Matt Podvincek just trying to calm down the crowd and, and the players. And of taking the free kick will be Jacob Morrison for the Lions. Onto the right foot. Bit of a mongrel kick. Morrison and Harrison in there for Karai, but they spoil Scott. each other. Here's Nick Scott. He's been pretty good. The bounce, he's, uh, he's ruined it via the bounce. And now Stuart Alford gets the kick away into the centre of the ground. Here comes Cummins, crushing through. He's the biggest man there. He's got the sp speed as well. Oh. Takes a bounce, has another one. He oh. beats three of the smallest players on the field, except fumbles the ball, and now Leopold with four got to one. Cummins, unbelievably and remarkably, retained the ball. Possession of the ball kicks up in the Scott direction, the Craig Shelley direction. Yep. The man free here. It's Bradley Circuit on his own. Going to be tackled here if he doesn't... No, didn't have time to get rid of it, the umpire said. Leopold's done very well. They've got the numbers. They can break free. This is uh, Sam Hughes. Poor kick into the, into the forward line. Calder's there, and it will be taken out of bounds. No, kept in play. Sam Hughes uh, called a tackle when he didn't have it, and eventually it goes. It's still kept in. Yeah, it's still in play. Might go out unless there's a boundary ball up. It's out of bounds now. So have a, a boundary ball up a few metres in. Yep. And Dalhouse, how about the tackle that he applied on, um, was it Corey Burke? Yeah, uh, Cir Circuit. Circuit. They got the ball moving. Here's Hughes. Hughes has got it. He's got a bit of time, but had people hot on his heels. Here's Loris, and he just floor. bombs it on the floor. Ooh. Might come back. No. And the water boy from Corio just trying to Sucker nudge it in. back in. Yep. Jack Stevens has the footy, the big blonde mop. 
kicks to the square. It's all uh, Karaya though, and that was Addison. No, Shelley. Yep. So he will kick long. That's a high kick. Didn't really get much distance on it, and Shelley, that must have been. Stuart Alford kicked it, and Craig Shelley couldn't take the mark. So at three quarter time here in the Buckley's Cup under 14 Division 2 Grand Final, Leopold lead by six points. They lead 3 9 27 to 3 3 21. In that quarter, they kicked one goal three, while Carrillo kicked two goals two. Goal kickers for Leopold, two to Calder and one to Philbay. And for Carrillo, two to Cummins and one to Harrison. Standout performers, firstly for Leopold. Stora's been good all across the ground, also Dahlhouse. Nick Scott, the captain, has been dynamic running through and breaking packs all over the ground. Also Sam Calder, uh, Sam Hughes, and I'd say the, the Cockings as well. Also for Carrillo, Daniel Harrison's been sensational. Lawson, Cummins, Cook and Shelley have combined to uh, to form what was a very powerful side in that quarter particularly. Yep, and if it continues like that, you'd think Carrillo could run over the top of the lines. Quite possible. Well, we see, we'll see. Welcome back here to the West Oval for the final quarter of the Under-14 Division 2 Grand Final, the Buckley's Cup, where Leopold, they're only up by one goal, or six behinds actually, over Carrillo, 3-9-27 to 3-3-21. Carrillo had a good quarter uh, in the third quarter, and they'll be looking to do the same thing in this last quarter. It's going to be an interesting final term for the season for these two teams. Yeah, definitely. You tipped Karai by a point, and they're still behind at this stage by six points, but one straight kick will have the scores level, and anyone's still in with a chance for the 2003 Under-14 Division Two Premiership. Here we go. It's the final quarter action for the Buckley's Cup. Both teams have only scored three goals, but Leopold with six more behinds. There we go again. Lawson gets the tap out. Shelley does likewise. Cummins tries to get the tackle, and Leopold go forward, though. Great tackle applied there by Harrison. Holding the ball, no. Nick Scott ducks and weaves, goes onto the right foot. Looks to the flank, and uh, dropping the mark there was uh, Matthew Kennedy for the Lions. Nick Scott looks silky smooth as the, the Leopold players apply the tackle. The big ball up. It will be, out of bounds. But Nick Scott just getting through that pack. He beat about four tacklers to get his kick away. And as the captain, that's what captains should be like. Nick Scott contesting the ruck this time. Loses it to Lawson. Cook maintains the ball. Out towards Dahlhouse and he sees it across the line in front of about three Carrillo players. Daniel Harrison stating his uh, effect on the game. He's been dynamic. Yep. And he'll go up in the ruck this time. Lawson and Scott again. And this time Lawson just gets it. Tackled there was uh, Matthew Kennedy. He'll get the free kick, I fancy. Yeah, over he does. The and it could be 50 because um, Luke Cook threw the ball away, but umpire was not watching. And it'll just be a free kick to Matthew Kennedy on the half forward flank for the Lions. They really need to get the first goal. And uh, if they do, you'd think they'd have the game won. Yep, Kennedy, well, turns over his kick and it lands in the hands of Daniel Harrison. Harrison on the left foot. Lots of left footers around. Finds Lawson. Yep. His big teammate. Good kick. Kennedy on the mark. Lawson goes a massive Cummins. drop punt up forward towards Cummins. Takes a strong grab, plays on. He's got to get rid of it. Hand passes away. His opponent oh. goes to ground and Cummins regains the footy. Has a bounce. Hand passes back. Regains it again. He's on the boundary. This could be the goal of the season. Don't tell me he's kicked it. He's got it. Oh, it's out of bounds. No, hang on. It's out of bounds, I think. Oh, it's a free kick. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, but it's been called a free kick. Surely not against Cummins. He didn't do anything wrong. Must have been against number 17. But anyway, would have been a good goal. Instead, Carrillo still down by six points. Still a bit of confusion over the call from before. Yeah. Disappointing there for Cummins. Did all the right things. Took it from centre wing. Just kept forcing it forward and got the goal, but unfortunately it disallowed. So Lawson up again in the ruck. Fists it out, puts his body in the line. This is good work by the Carrillo boys. It comes now to Nick Scott, though, of Leopold. The skipper has a bounce. He's going to run his full measure. Gets around a would-be tackler. Beats him as well. Has another bounce. And another. He's taken three. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Goes all the way to full forward. 
Good but mark. a great mark taken in defence there by Stephen Viney of Carrillo. He's been good. He's only a small backman, but he did his job nicely and gets the ball out to Stuart Alford. Alford now, the half-back flank. Let's see if they can set something up here again. Carrillo, the same wing that they... Well, they should, maybe could have got a goal just moments ago. Now, the big kick up. Looking for Harrison. He's got it. Great mark. Very nice. Good kick by Circuit. Just spotted him up there. One of the three or four Carrillo big men they've got. Kicks him into another one. Here's Lawson. Can't get it. At the back of the pack was uh, Brendan Julian. Now, passes off to Shelley. Shelley can kick a goal if he wants to. It's going to bounce poorly, though. He mustn't have wanted to, no. though. No, he, uh, well, he did actually miscue that kick. And a one point to Craig Shelley. His first scoring shot for the day. And now it's only a five-point ball game. So a goal for Carrillo would put them in front. So Shelley more imposing himself along the midfield more than the forward line, but on that occasion pushing forward and just missing to the left-hand side. It'll be a Leopold kick in. They'll look up towards the ground, towards this wing. Shelley went up. So did about five other players. The skipper comes away with it. He kicks up. He's so recognisable in that number eight jersey. He gets the ball over to Ryan Dalhouse. The atmosphere's risen here at West Oval. It's a two-on-one situation. Leopold had got numbers, but running back is Stephen Viney again. Here's Calvin O'Brien. O'Brien kicks it to his own advantage. Nice. A nice pickup. He's got speed. Kicks it back. Miscues the mark. There oh, was well Jacob Morrison. Carrillo slaps it forward again. Here's Cummins. What can he do? He controls it nicely, but Leopold maintained possession of the ball once more. Elliot Webb gets it out, and they push it towards the boundary line. Where they've got runners, they get it back to Scott Cocking. He drops it. Players pounce on top of the ball, and they finally, Leopold, get it out. They get a kick out nice towards the wing. Here's, for, here's Stuart Alford for Carrillo. Gets it to Lawson. Lawson shrugs the tackle, gives him the don't argue. He kicks inside the, into the pocket. Oh. Here's a player, Aaron Shelley, can't get I'm back behind. in time. It goes through for a point. Disappointing for Karai. They had they had the chance, but just a point there. One behind a Chris Lawson. His first score of the match. And now the scores move to three goals. Four. Three goals, five, 23. And they're four points behind Leopold, three, nine, 27. Free kick to Leopold in their defence. And it will be taken by Carl Majewski. You haven't seen much of him today. No, he's been quiet. Hopefully he can have an impact on the last quarter of this. This is off the hand pass to his captain in Scott. And provides the screen as well. Scott switches sides. He's got a teammate there who just pumps into the centre of the ground. Not a good kick. Lawson's there. Shrugs the tackle. Just rides it and kicks with the right foot snap into the forward line. He's got number 11, Chris Young, there waiting for him. And then kicks it to Cummins. Can he get it? No. And it will be out of bounds. So the ball's mainly been inside the Cryo forward 50 for most of this quarter. Yeah, definitely. And they've been spent a minimum amount of time up the Leopold end of the ground. So Cryo definitely showing what they've got in the midfield department. Their centre breaks and midfield clearances have been uh, on top definitely in this quarter. And Lawson has led the way. Yeah. The umpire will ball it up once more. Leopold lead by four points, 27 to 23. We're about halfway through this last quarter. Lawson gets a tap out. Cummins got a foot in the hand. Gets it across. There's a player free here. What can he do? Shrugs a tackle or two. He's caught holding the ball probably. It's Chris Young. Yep. No, says the umpire. Leopold try to clear it. Cook. It's, comes back to Carrillo. Inside 50. Harrison. Oh, dropped the mark. Here comes Shelley. What can he do? Oh, he's missed. So another point, I'd say, possibly on the full, one behind. Yeah, a bit hopeful there. Very low percentage kick off the uh, outside. Check side. Yeah, the outside of the boot. But still, they're getting there. Only three points behind now, Carrillo. Matthew Stinnett of Leopold to take the kick in. He's looking for options up long. He doesn't want to go short. He kicks to his full extent and Good spots kick. up a player who's Ooh, dropped the mark. He's been it. paid, though. Was lucky. Tough decision there. Possibly a bit soft, but anyway, he's got the mark in the back pocket for Leopold. Doesn't know where to go because Carrillo have their big men all over the place. and He looks to go to the congested area at the half-back flank there you towards go. the wing of the ground, and it's turned over at Stuart Alford. They've not been very good as well, Alford. Yep. What's of their big players? Oh, another free kick. It's going to be taken by the captain, Nick Scott, for Leopold, who's probably been their best, and he kicks up. 
towards centre wing. And they've got runners now. Hand pass over the top now to Jacob Storer. Storer runs inside, kicks inside the 50 metre arc. Ooh. And what a mark Cold taken up. there by Sam Calder, running back to the ball. And lets his opponent know all about it. This could uh, really hurt Carrillo. Yep. Disappointing. He's found a oh, poor kick. The, the ball's fallen to the back of the pack. There's Carrillo got the numbers. If they can clear it, they can. Lawson does well. Packs a bounce, and he will clear through the outer side. Big but kick. No one in particular, though. And Leopold of the footy. He was well composed, though. He showed lots of poise in kicking in that passage of play. Over the top, Ooh. Viney puts his body on the line. Shelley's in there also, and they gang tackle a Leopold player. He went down with the football. It was Trent Cocking. And there'll be another ball up. We're 45 metres out from Leopold's goal in a crucial time for both sides. A goal for Leopold to see them win, you'd almost say, and Karai really need one themselves. But Karai slap it out now to Stuart Alford, and he gets the kick away. Yeah, leading the race is Cummins, put his body on the line, took out his own player though. So did Leopold, they took out their bit of a collision between players as well. Here's Lawson, should take this, does. Yeah. He's been absolutely fantastic today. Bit of friendly fire going on. Yep. Lawson, Lawson. pumps it forward, not a great kick this time. Number 11 there, Chris Young, got it, here's a go. Karai, if they can get it forward to the goal square, they can't though. Yes, they can. If they can get a soccer off the ground, they've got a player in the oh. goal square on his own. Does well. Can they kick a goal? Oh, no. Stuart Alford to Craig Mooney, and Craig Mooney just off the side of the boot. But well, how about big Stuart Alford not, bustling through? Yeah, we're not quite sure if it's Craig Mooney, but uh, number 17 has put it through for a behind. And no, uh, I, don't, I don't think I don't think it is Craig, Craig Mooney. Mooney. Playing in Craig Mooney's jumper, so what an honour. Unfortunately, couldn't win. The, that would have been a, an interesting goal. So, Karai with all the attacking this quarter and just haven't been able to put it on the score. It's a good kick. Finds Thomas Pisa. Yeah, Pisa's been quiet as well, but he's Oof, had a few mother. And, um, Here's a go. Comes in and kicks. It's a goal. No, it's one behind. So, another behind this time. Kicked by Carayo, and it's only one point the difference. Suddenly, Carayo are right back in it. And I tell you what, this could come down right to the wire. There was, there'd only be within five minutes left. Leopold, play on. Up towards their defending 50 metre line. It falls, it got a good bounce for Leopold then. Centimetre perfect kick there. Coming in for Carrillo was Calvin O'Brien. With some assistance, his kick was smothered. Kicking out, oh. Oh, just landing within the line. Good work by Shelley. It was, and the atmosphere has risen here on the boundary line. The crowd really getting into this match. We'll have a ball up. We're about 75 metres out from Carrillo's goal. Lawson smacks it forward. But straight to Leopold, midfielder. They get the ball moving. Oh. Scott now crashed into his own player. He's got to get it inside. Hold the ball. He's been pinged holding the ball because he bounced it when he was being tackled. Yeah, he's done that all day trying to break the tackle, but this time he's got... Uh, Great mark taken by Shelley. Yeah, he's done that all day, um, Scott. Just trying to shrug the tackle, but that time didn't work. Goes to Lawson. Got him. This looks promising. Lawson now. Can he score? Pumps it forward. Here we go. Hand passes off. Here's a goal. Oh, yeah, hit the hit post. The post. <laughs> <laughs> Scores a level away. here at West Oval. It's oh. three goals, nine. Was that Harrison? 27, Leopold. I think it was Harrison who took that point. So, yeah, he's on the mark right now. They have absolutely flogged Leopold in this last quarter, Carrillo, but... Three goals, 9.27 apiece now, Daniel. Yep, but we've had goals disallowed, we've had hit the posts, we've had goals missed from the goal square. What is going on? Any score will do it, I would think. Carrillo, have the ball. This could be an historic comeback if they get it. Could be a draw. It was Jamie Grace who kicked the ball inside, but crashing through for Leopold was Jack Stevens. Did it brilliantly. Comes back and Ooh. it's kicked to kick. Jamie Grace has got it again on the 50. Goes inside. Lawson. Got He's it. taken the mark. Only 40 metres out. If He's the sewing goes now, I tell you what. I think there's still a, f a few minutes to go, but he'll slow it down because you know a score under the circumstances where. Leopold have not scored this quarter would uh, be devastating for the Lions. Very dangerous and uh, Leopold with such a successful season 
Yep. Be a real disappointment. Leopold flog cry two weeks ago. Here comes Lawrison. The best for the day. Kicks He's on its way. A goal. He's got He's it. Kicks it. Lawrison's kicked a goal, and Carrillo, for the first time, have hit the front in today's match. That could be the match-winning kick by Chris Lawrison. Not, a, not over yet, though. We no, must remember. I know it's not over, but that what a lifting, a team-lifting goal in such a crucial time. Chris Lawrison has kicked his first goal of the match. He's kicked one-one. Carrillo four-nine thirty-three. Leopold. 3-9-27. Especially when our Karaya dominated for so long and just haven't been able to hit the lead. That is just a big confidence booster with all their goals disallowed and so on. Here comes Leopold now. Jacob Morrison pummels it forward. He's got it again. Kicks inside the 50. He's got a player out there. Snaps onto the right foot inside. Oh, he was mark. looking for Phil Bay, but there's been a mark taken in defence in a very crucial time by Calvin O'Brien, the Karaya defender. He's calling for the players to come down. He needs support. Cummins is calling for it in the centre square. Cummins he has ignores been good. him and opts to go to oh, the good wing. mark. Yeah, Cummins has been good, but this is Bradley Circuit taking the mark. And he's been put down afterwards, but he's just slowing it right down. Taking as long as he can, just walks back. Smart football. 10 metres or so. Just chips it around. He's got number 17 in the centre. Takes the mark. Back again, not a good kick, but it's okay. Circuit can get there, as can uh, Alford. And eventually they kick it along the wing, and they've got Cook, who's been good. Very physical player, Luke Cook. Yeah, Cook, Leopold really under the pump now. They've got to get the ball down into, into their attacking 50. Cook goes with a high kick up towards centre half forward. Here comes Alford, storming through, kicks onto the right foot. It's a grubber. Here's Harrison, is it? Harrison spins around on the left foot and nails it. That is Goal. the sealer. Carrillo will win the 2003 Buckley's Cup. There's, There's the, the siren. siren. Well, what an amazing game. What about that for a turnaround in the last quarter? Carrillo kicked uh, two goals. Two goals, six in that last quarter. And Leopold no score. did not score. That was the story of the game. And Chris Lawson really led the way. Yep. And look at these players run onto the ground now. This is what it's all about. Fairy tale finishes in a season that held so much excitement for both teams. Devastation for Leopold. They uh, they probably thought they deserved to win from the majority of the game. Karaya winning 5-9-39 to Leopold 3-9-27. But the thing, I think Karaya realised after their first quarter where they went scores, was they have... Five, about five players that can take a contested mark, and they just kicked it high to contest, and they got all the marks. That's right. The only very, very tall list with Lawson, Cummins, Harrison, Alfred, even, and Stewie Alfred. That's just an uh, impenetrable tall line. Luke Cook, but and the only player really that uh, Leopold has in the same category would be Nick Scott. Nick Scott, and he couldn't be everywhere at the same time. They had a few smaller players. Jacob Storer stepped up. Dahlhouse was exceptional. Also, Sam Cole kicking two goals. He was good. But really, you couldn't go past Chris Lawson for the man of the match. No, also, Daniel Harrison kicked two goals, three for Carrillo. Chris Cummins, two goals, one. And Chris Lawson, one goal. They were the five. And, of course, Sam Calder for Leopold kicking two. And Josh Philbay, one. So, really, since about halfway through that second quarter, Carrillo did dominate. And it just took them to that last five or so minutes to hit the lead and win the game. And what an amazing moment.
But he brought the boys to 